test kids. I like to think there's a good general rule in life mm. is that one's children should not be younger than one's grandchildren. How is that possible? Well, if you're Robert De Niro and you're 79 <laughs> years old and you've already got children who are as old as me in their 50s, and then you have your seventh child at the age of 79. Um, what do you make of this, uh, Benedict? Well, I was going to say I'd love to be as virile as Robert De Niro at 79, but frankly, given the current trajectory, I'd like to just be having children by 79. I'm not sure when I'll be able to afford to Well, exactly, yeah, you'd need to be able to afford country. it, wouldn't you? I don't know, yeah. I've managed to be... Someone's given me some a newspaper article on this which doesn't have the age of his partner, I'm assuming is not 79. Not 79. Rich, rich yeah. famous man, I'm going to guess she's in her 30s. I'm going to go out on a limb, but maybe a bit older, who knows? Um, 7.52, sorry, 8.52 is the time. You're not, you're not late for work. Um, let's talk to Georgina Fuller, who's a parenting journalist. Good morning to you. Good morning, Julia. Um, Georgina, I see these stories, and we see it all the time, like, oh, another famous man in his 70s, 80s, 90s, sometimes even, has, a, has another child with their, you know, fourth wife who's much, much younger, um, or fourth partner, and, and you, you know, and everyone goes, oh, isn't it amazing? Isn't it lovely? Look at those lovely pictures. And I have to say, I'm... I'm repulsed by this. I mean, I'm worried. I have my daughter at 38, and I know she's an only child, and I really worry, God, you know, I, I need to stay able-bodied enough to, to help with grandchildren and be around and, and be around for as much of her life as possible. But when you're 79, you're playing the odds here. Yeah, he might live another 20 years. Statistically, probably he won't, sadly. But to have a child knowing that you realistically could die before they end their teenage years, isn't that immoral? I mean, it's such a, a standard formula now, isn't it? As you say, they have two wives. They've got he's got children in, in his fifties. Um, I mean, I, I have a seventy-nine-year-old father. The thought of him having children. Oh God! Oh yeah. <laughs> And yes, and he'll be, what, 100 when this child is 21. Um, I think his partner is in her mid-40s. As you say, that's kind of been fudged over. Yeah. I mean, women now as well, like Naomi Campbell, Janet Jackson, they've had babies in their 50s or, or at 50. Well. Well, I mean, they're having babies. There's they're, they're, they're surrogates there. You know, I mean, whenever you hear a woman, if you hear a woman who has her first child in their 40s, I'm telling you it's not their biological child. That, I've, I've done the IVF route. Trust me, you know. Yeah. I, I think you're right. And I mean, this beggars kind of uh, a few questions, doesn't it? Viagra was, it is probably involved at the age of 79. I mean, as you say, Rod Stewart, John Humphreys, there's lots yeah. of uh, older men. And just because they can, does yeah. it mean it should? No, but also this idea that, oh, well, you know, they don't have a uh, an, an issue in terms of, you know, the, the biological clock. Actually, there's lots of evidence that actually it, it, you know, what they deliver it does actually uh, go down in value, go down in quality over the years, actually, and a lot more genetic problems come about from older fathers, you know, also older mothers, obviously. And there is a concern there. But also, what I hate is the fact that the men are sort of like, hey, well done, well done. Whereas a woman, even in her 50s, having a child, like this, everyone castigates oh, how irresponsible, how wrong and how unnatural. But it seems to be OK for men to do it. Well, Absolutely. if they're rich, if they're rich, yes. that's the rule, yes. isn't it? Women are selfish. Um, if, if they have children in, in later life, whereas men are lauded for it, aren't they? Um, yeah, I mean, he'd be able to um, obviously support this child for probably long after he's going to leave an estate and a legacy. Yeah, but, but, but so much of being a parent is, I mean, it's presenteeism. Being there, yeah. you know, you're not just yeah. you're not just a sperm donor. Being there, going to those events, playing football with your kids, you know, reading books with yeah. them. Be, be, it's a good idea, I think, if your child's bedtime for most of its uh, t uh, childhood is 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 earlier than yours. Yes, I mean, I do have um, a couple of friends I spoke with about this who had um, either fathers who were in their sixties when they had them, or whose mm. fathers went to have families in later life, and they did point out that older dads can make better, more involved dads. Oh, OK. Than... So it could go the other way. But not, yeah, but not for long. Georgina Fuller, thank you very much indeed. Benedict Spence, I mean, OK, well, at some point you hope to be a father, but you, you obviously you need to get on that housing ladder and all of that first. So maybe maybe you could ask him. Um, I think it, yeah, for some help. It, yeah, it's some money or a tax cut. Either would be Either good. Either would be good. Rishi we... or Robert. Well, yeah. One of you has got to help. We'll take, we'll take <laughs> one of those. <laughs> you looking at me? This is Till <laughs> Breakfast.